Hello students, I am Rohit from Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Flipkart's flagship engineering campus challenge that is GRID 5.0. Agenda to prepare this video is to provide awareness about this particular challenge, what are the different stages, eligibility rules and how you should be having the preparation. What should be your preparation flow? So we will be covering all these types and all these parameters in this particular video. The registrations are already started from 9th of June and the last day to register is 13th of July. So what exactly this grid is? So grid is a Flipkart's flagship engineering campus challenge which will provide you with the opportunity to apply with your technical knowledge and skills to compete and complete the key challenges. Now this year it is the fifth edition of Flipkart Grid which is much more better than the previous one which will provide you real world problem statements from the world of e-commerce. When we talk about the difference what it will make so if you target the possibilities under the Flipkart Grid 5.0, you will be getting an opportunity to apply for the full-time role SD1 with LPA of 32 lakhs and apart from that the internship program with 1 lakh per month. So this gives the idea what big the opportunity is. When we talk about the different options in terms of what is at stake. So rewards and prizes. Attractive prizes to be won along with the opportunity is the part of the hiring process for technical internship and full time role as well. So the internship stipend will be as discussed 1 lakh per month and SD1 role compensation will be 32 LPA. Apart from that winners will get the EGVs worth rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand and first runner-up will get EGV worth rupees 75,000. Much more to that, certificate of merit will be provided to the top 20 teams per college, level 1 qualifying teams and finalist also. What about the career opportunities? So top teams who will qualify for level 2 will get a chance to be part of the hiring process for internship as well as full-time tech roles at Flipkart. And teams who will reach the final get a PPI for a software tech role, internship either or full-time role. Now let us discuss about the different stages and what are the different tracks. So this time they will be having software development, information security, robotics and health. These are the different tracks that will be available Specifically, if you target the process that is common in all the tracks, only the domain wise content will be different. So the software development track will have three elimination levels, which will test your technical, analytical and ideation skills. What are the different eligibility rules with respect to the team formation? This is open to the students which are pursuing degree of B.Tech, B.E, B.Sc, M.Tech and M.S or related engineering program across all engineering colleges in India and the batches which are eligible will be 2024, 25, 26 and 27. 23 batch is not eligible to participate in this competition. Students must register in the teams of 1 to 3 means solo registrations are also there. The participating students can be from any specialization and one person cannot be the member of more than one team. The best part to this is the demo quiz round which will help you to understand the process about the first stage is already there. And this demo round is not an elimination round. So Flipkart have mentioned that participants are recommended to undergo this demo quiz round to make themselves familiar with the platform. And this is not an elimination or any kind of evaluation round. Now let us discuss about the different stages and levels. The first level is e-commerce and technical quiz. 
In this level, every participant is going to get a set of questions that need to be answered within 30 minutes. And all the members of a team are eligible to attempt the quiz round. A team will be scoring best on the average marks of the team members which are attempting the quiz round. And it is not mandatory for all the team members to take the quiz. Now what are the different domain contexts which will come under this particular tech quiz? So it will be based on e-commerce and I will be providing you some additional important links also from where you will get the additional information about the respective domain. Apart from that technological awareness, different technical stacks and basic computer science fundamentals. If you prepare all these cases, then that will be very easy. Even I will be providing you some important guidelines how to prepare for all these cases. Then after that, there will be level two, which is our submission round. The qualifying teams means the shortlisted teams from the level one have to submit their preferences for the problem statements. So actually this is idea shortlisting round and the teams will be allocated the problem statement as per the preferences they have shared at the scores of level one. So they will be working on idea submission and will have the brainstorming research about the idea brief and they have to develop the brief of the idea as well as the video. So these submissions will be provided as per the case of deadline and you have to submit all the necessary material during the challenge window. After that, the last level three will be national finale. In this final level of the grid, finalists will be invited to showcase their solutions to the panel of domain experts at Flipkart. So this is the step by step assessment cases which are involved in this particular grid challenge. Now the question arises how to prepare which level is more important. So level one is more important because 90% of shortlisting means the rejection ratio will happen at level one and actually it is very easy to crack it down. So the preparation strategy, what are the different guidelines that you should follow? First important thing is detailed understanding about the computer science fundamentals is required. Now specifically talking about the software development track, if you change the respective track, then again, the domain specific things will change. Rest of the process flow will remain same. Apart from that, you need to have the knowledge, understanding and working about latest technology stacks, which are available and to target the e-commerce will be common. Apart from that, you should have the understanding of core fundamentals of data structures and algorithms, operating system, computer network, different protocols, server information and all then database management system, whatever is related to the particular domain, all that necessary information will definitely going to help you to crack this round one. If you have a better understanding about the latest trends in technology that you can achieve by reading the different materials, different articles, and I will be providing you the link about stories.flipkart also where you will get all the necessary things. So that will help you to understand what is ongoing. What are the latest things which are happening? So majorly technical, analytical and ideation skills. These are the three major factors that you need to consider. Your focus should be on that particular part. Major focus should be on clearing round one. Because once you got the clearance in the round one, then the process will become very easy. In the second round, you have to submit a particular idea which should be concise, unique and very impressive. So presentation, making sure that you can impress the panel with the provided idea and the solution to that problem statement also, whatever you have presented in the ideation process. The data structures and algorithm will definitely help you for interview preparations. And the most important thing in this entire process is a strong team. Now everyone is eligible from the respective years. So you can develop a strong team which will handle the technical part, analytical part and ideation part also. So presentation is also important. Technical understanding of the fundamental knowledge is also important. So you should work on formation of the team, 
considering the multiple rounds to be carried out so this is what the preparation strategy you need to follow apart from that these are the important links that you should visit stories.flipkart.com this link will help you to understand the different latest things which are happening that will help you to work on the r&d part of ideation step so do visit the cases and this is a very good opportunity don't miss it now the question arises how talent battle can help you in this so as you have seen under the preparation strategy you need to have the understanding of core fundamentals computer science fundamentals data structures os c and dbms and we are already ready with all these courses apart from that we are also working on the previously asked question and in upcoming days we will definitely provide you the case so don't miss the chance i hope the content whatever i have shared and explained is fruitful to you do like comment and share this video with your friends so that everyone will be benefited and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you